it's Melanie and Becca and today starts another reading vlog so stay tuned so Becca is here with me today because we have some boxes to show you but first I wanted to tell you about my reading so I did a little tiny bit of reading today of City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare and I am currently on page 266 of this so about halfway I think right there and we have two boxes to show you one is Becca's Goddess Provision and the other is Love of Food okay so let me tell you a little bit of information about both of these boxes so goddess provisions it says each box will contain a mix of four to six full-size products including crystals aromatherapy apothecary beauty tools for spiritual growth superfood snacks and tea and their boxes are always vegan and cruelty free and they are 33 dollars a month they have one month three month six month and 12 month subscriptions and shipping is free to the u.s and it's 15 dollars to canada and 25 dollars everywhere else and then love with food it says snack smart do good discover new organic or all natural snacks delivered to your door every month and will donate a meal to a hungry child no artificial flavoring or coloring no trans fat or hydrogenated oils no high fructose corn syrup they have three boxes to choose from the tasting box which is low as $7.99 a month and that gives you seven plus snacks and they donate one meal per month and it's free shipping to the US and doesn't ship internationally. And then there is the deluxe box, which is what I get, and that is $16.50 a month. And they give you 15 plus snacks, and they donate two meals a month, and it's free shipping to the US and $3.99 everywhere else. And then they also have a gluten free box, which is as low as $19.99 a month. They send you 10 plus snacks and donate two meals a month and it's free shipping to the US and $3.99 everywhere else. And if there's any discounts to either of these, I will put that in the description down below. And I will also provide links in the description if you would like to get a box for yourself. Okay, so let's start with Goddess Provisions. So we open it up and it looks like so. Looks like there's a snack in it. Yeah, we got lots of snacking. So the first thing in here is Lesser Evil Grain Free Paleo Puffs. Himalayan Salt and Apple Cider Vinegar. So it's like salt and vinegar puffs. Okay. But they're like natural. I don't know. I'm gonna try. I don't really like salt and vinegar, but I'll try it anyways. Yeah, if we don't like it, dad oil. It's like a little cheetah. No? I think I like, like it better than normal salt and vinegar chips. Because the vinegar is too strong than normal salt and vinegar. Well, maybe it's because it's apple cider vinegar. I don't hate these, though. They're okay. I like apple cider vinegar, though. Okay, Ooh. then the next thing is our little card that shows us all of the stuff that's in the box. But it's always this cool little print. And this month is Sacred Womb Wisdom. And the monthly mantra is, I'm connected to my womb space. I embody the divine feminine power of creation. That's nice. And those lesser evil paleo puffs have a $1.50 value. And there's lots of coupon codes on this. And I'll, make, I'll try to remember to put that all in the description below. But there's like 15% off if you want to order from them. So. Alright. You want to pick the next thing out of the box, Becca? Alright, so we have these Calma Mama Organic Balance Drops. This hormone balancing flower essence combines clary sage, rose, yarrow, and lavender to increase feelings of comfort, stability, and resilience. And this is a $17 oh, value. Like the sleeping drops we had. Oh. Because it's I think it's the same brand. I still have those sleeping drops. I don't think I don't know if they do anything, but they taste good. So, and this has a code that's goddess saves you thirty percent off all calmamama dot com products. So is this just supposed to like balance me? It's, it's a hormone balancing thing. Oh, that's good. So does it say to put it under your tongue or anything? Yep, this is on the tongue. On the tongue. Mm. 
Okay. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes planty. <laughs> it tastes like mana cells. Mm -hmm. It tastes like my mom's house smells with all the uh, essential oils, essential oils and stuff. It's, it's not bad sage. though. That's what it is. It's just sage. All right, pull the next thing out. Oh, I get it because it's wound healing. Did so. you show it off that bottle? Oh no, I didn't write. You can do it. So these are the drops. All right. So what's the next? Um, if I can get this all the way open, it is um. A crampy belly rub, topical analgesic, and it's for monthly discomforts. Okay. This is the Little Moon Essentials Cramp Belly Rub. Massage this oil featuring camphor, arnica, clary sage, and wintergreen over your room space to help relieve menstrual cramps. This smells like Pepto. Smell it. It definitely smells like Pepto. That's wild. And then there's something else on top of that and yeah but the, my first it, scent was like pepto. it's like pepto and then you, I'll, you smell a little sage too there's i need to get that off at some point oh you show that off all right what's next it's this little bag is there something in it it's just this card it says a cosmic collaboration of goddess provisions and cosmic collage it says, the goddess learns to move with the waves of her emotions by the cycle of the moon. The tides rise and fall, and each phase be brings a new opportunity to release, renew, to grow, and to connect with the sacred divine feminine. And this says it's a cosmic collage medicine bag. And it says cosmic collage on the inside. That's cool. So this is the bag. And then it says... Cosmic collage on the inside. It says carry your essentials wherever you go in this gorgeous pouch. It's perfect for holding your menstrual cup, pads, tampons, crystals, and more. Cool. And that is a $25 value. I like that. And then there's this Sacred Lotus Yoni Steam. Okay. Um, it's the 13 Moon Blend Cleansing Fitness Blend. It says, cleansing herbal yoni steam to support a healthy menstrual cycle, reduce stress, and connect to your feminine essence. And this is a $7 value. So there's this little envelope. It looks like maybe a necklace or a charm. Oh, it's a bracelet. The vagina. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Okay, so this is Yoni Crystal's Visica Pisces bracelet. Wear this sacred symbol on your wrist as a reminder of the divine creative essence that resides in your womb. And this is a $22 value. So this is an interesting box. <laughs> you want to show them the crystal? It's very beautiful. This is the Amethyst Cluster. Amethyst is known to help bring balance, soothe the mind, and calm emotions. Keep this crystal near when doing womb healing. And that is an $8 value. And they've started doing this at least the past couple of months. Every month they have some kind of digital extra. And so the digital bonus this month is womb meditation and cycle mapping chart. And it says access a guided meditation and a moon cycle mapping chart to connect you with your feminine power and deepen your wisdom of lunar rhythms. And that is a $20 value. And it says you can download it at goddessrising.org forward slash GP dash gift. Oh, and all of these coupons, they expire August 14th, 2018. Okay, so that is all that's in the goddess box this month. Now on to love with food. You know, these two boxes actually go really well together because this one's all about really your monthly cycle kind of thing. And who doesn't want some snacks to go along with that? Here we go. So the theme for this month is live your best life. And let's get into some of these snacks. 
Okay, first off, we have some Belgian Boys Mini Cookie Stash Choco Chip. Belgian Chocolate Chip Cookies. Yes! Mm -hmm. We got two of those. Their little mustaches. They're so cute. It tastes like something you'd put in your kid's lunch. Or dip in coffee. Yeah. Alright, next we have some home cooked salted Virginia peanuts. Hubbard Peanut Company. Hubs. And this is a single serving power pack. And I don't think I'm going to open these right now. Next up we have Benito's White Bean Chips with a hint of lime. And these are high fiber. Six grams of protein per package. They look like tortillas. Doritos or tortillas. Ooh. Very limey. These are actually really, really good. Really, really good. I like those a lot. That's why I got another one. <laughs> mm. And then we have Honey Stinger Organic Waffle Vanilla Flavored. So it's like one of those Stroop Waffles. Oh, and we have a second one of those as well. And then we have a little bag of Oyster Crackers from Westminster Baker's Company. Good with some soup. And then we have two bags of Janice and Melanie. <laughs> Key Lime Cookies. And yum. I love all things Key Lime. So I'm going to open this up. They look like those little like wedding cookies. Like all powdery. It's a very light Key Lime taste. Actually after you've chewed it up and swallowed it you start getting more of the Key Lime taste. It's really good though. I like it. This Hint of Lime Chip has more lime flavor than the key lime cookies have. Key lime flavor. Next we have a teeny tiny package of Surf Sweets by Wholesome Organic Fruity Bears. No synthetic colors. Naturally flavored and vegan. Oh, these are very, they're tiny and like sugar coated. Who doesn't love gummy bears? I'm really, really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're like, okay. Very so, light tasting. There was cherry, grapefruit, grape, lemon, orange, and strawberry. I can't tell which one I had. I think it might have been grapefruit. <laughs> I think I also got grapefruit, but it was delicious. And I don't even like grapefruit. Ooh. That's cherry. That's cherry. I'm not gonna just eat all of these. This is probably also cherry. So those were super yummy and we're gonna have to order some. And she was looking at the back to see what made them vegan because she, most uh, gelatin things are not vegan. And for this they used tapioca syrup. Okay, so next up we have Ocean's Halo Sea Salt, the seaweed snack, lightly roasted, 20 calories, pure and natural sea salt, and it's organic. We also have some peanut free wow butter. It tastes just like peanut butter with plant protein and omega 3, and it's uh, really just toasted soy. I really like peanut butter, but have peanut allergies. Mm -mm. And Xander has used this before. It comes in like a little tub. He's used this before and couldn't really tell much of a difference between peanut butter and that. So, all right. Next, we have two bowls of ooh yes, 14 grams protein per serving. Chef's Cut Real Jerky Company smoked beef original recipe with 100% real cheddar cheese. So there's two bowls of it. 
and I love jerky. Let's open one up and check it out. Becca is not eating any red meat, so she won't want the jerky, but she could try the cheddar cheese. They're like these weird puff things. Oh. Oop, I dropped it. Mm, I don't think I like that. Mm. You don't like that? Mm -mm. It's very salty. I like it. It to me it tastes like um really sharp cheddar. I don't I don't like really sharp mm. cheddar. And I also really like the jerky. It's too sharp. <laughs> it's gonna cut me. Ooh. And then the last thing we have in the bag is enlightened roasted broad bean crisps. Crisp. Huh. Interesting. And this is sweet cinnamon. It's 100 calories per serving, 7 grams protein per serving, high fiber, gluten free. So snack anytime, sprinkle on oatmeal, mix in yogurt. Well, Looks like this. That. And it's the one thing we have that actually reseals. And apparently it's available in different flavors like sea salt, sriracha, wasabi, cocoa dusted, mesquite barbecue, and other delicious flavors. They also have enlightened ice cream. Ooh, it smells good. Ooh, ooh, wow. So they look like this. Which to me they look like really big honey smack cereal. Really good. Pleasure. And those are good. I like them. They make a good little snack. Or like they said, sprinkle it on some oatmeal or something. Or some yogurt. Mm -hmm. I would love that in some yogurt. This is just a little flyer telling about wow butter. This is a little recipe. It's cauliflower rice with toasted almonds, dried cherries, and fresh mint. And it's on a little coupon for some bouillon cubes. And that's all that's in that box. So that is all really for my update today. I've mostly been editing and finally got my uh, reading vlog for last week edited and uploaded and all that stuff. And I have like two other videos to edit. And I filmed a video earlier with Becca. So uh, I guess that's it for my update for today. And I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> so it is Thursday the 21st. And I didn't vlog anything yesterday. Because yesterday was a pretty crappy day. And yeah. I, I didn't read anything. I didn't really do anything. It was... It was just not a good day for me. And today has been better. I still haven't really done anything today. I was just kind of a mind numb watching YouTube and Twitch all day. And that's really all I did. But I'm hoping tomorrow to get back on track. And do some editing. Do some reading. And yeah. Don't really have anything else to check in with you today. So sorry. <laughs> but I will talk to you tomorrow. It is Friday, June 22nd, and I have some mail to show you. Okay, so first off, I have something that I'm so excited about. I pre-ordered this a long time ago when I first discovered it, and I'm so excited it's in. It is a Funko Pop from a show that I watched as a little kid, and... I actually had my kids watch it and or at least my daughter anyway I don't think Xander's very interested in it but when I saw this Funko Pop I was just like oh my gosh I can't believe they made it so I had to get it and that is Rainbow Bright and her little Sprite Twink how cute are they I had like everything rainbow bright when I was a kid. I had like rainbow bright pillowcase and sheets and curtains and covers and I had the rainbow bright doll and I had the unicorn and I had like a million of the sprites. I loved this show. Oh my gosh even her little stand is rainbow. Oh I love it. There she is. <laughs> and here's Twink. <laughs> I love it. 
So that is going on my shelf. And next I got my Once Upon a Book Club box for this month and I wanted to do a little unboxing for you. So you open it up and it looks like this. And if you didn't know, the way Once Upon a Book Club works is you get a book and you get all these individually wrapped gifts that have page numbers on them. And as you're reading the book, you'll get to a certain page that actually has a little post-it stuck in it that says, open your gift for page, whatever. And so you go into the box and you find the gift that matches that page number and you open it up. Now, I don't go and open all the gifts when I'm doing the unboxing because I like it to do it as I'm reading the story. But, um, I do like vlogs or like readathons and things like that where I will go through reading and opening the gifts and showing you as I'm opening them. But I'm actually planning on, if possible, if I can finish City of Lost Souls this week, I actually plan on starting one of these Once Upon a Book Club boxes. Don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I am going to try. So if I don't start it this week, then I will definitely be starting it next week. So if you like to see those, make sure to catch that next vlog too. <laughs> okay, so we have the little card here that says, Psst. to fully experience this box, remember, don't open your gifts until you have reached the page number attached to your gift. And then we have the little pamphlet here. And they always have like some little giveaway thing and the read along dates. And all of that, we have a print here. And I think it says, cruelty is easy to repay. Kindness is another matter. Megan Bannon. And then we have our gifts. So we have page 58. This one says page 321 in the corner here. And that is really cool. Check that out. It's an envelope. We've got page 400. Set that back in there. And next we have the book, which is The Bird and the Blade by Megan Bannon. I haven't heard of this book. Three Impossible Riddles, One Dangerous Secret. <laughs> it looks cool. And some blurbs on the back here. Praise for The Bird and the Blade. The Bird and the Blade is a tale filled with magic and mystery. It will entrance you from the first page. Meticulously researched and beautifully executed, this story will linger long after you have finished reading. And Renee Adelaide said that. Alright, so let's see what this says. As a slave in Kipchak Khanate, Jinghua has lost everything. Her home, her family, her freedom. Until the kingdom is conquered by enemy forces and she finds herself an unlikely conspirator in the escape of Prince Kalaf and his Erisable father across the vast Mongol Empire. On the run, with adversaries on all sides and an endless journey ahead, Ginhua hatches a scheme to use the Kipchak's exile to return home, a plan that becomes increasingly fraught as her feelings for Kalaf evolve into an impossible love. Ginhua's already dicey prospects take a downward turn when Kalaf seeks to restore his kingdom by forging a marriage alliance with Turan Dulkit, the daughter of the Great Khan. As beautiful as she is cunning, Turan Dulkit requires all potential suitors to solve three impossible riddles to win her hand, and if they fail, they die. Jinghua has kept her on counsel well, but with Kalaf's kingdom and his very life on the line, she must reconcile the hard truth of her past with her love for a boy who has no idea what she's capable of, even if it means losing him to the girl who'd sooner take his life than his heart. The Bird and the Blade is a lush, powerful story of life and death, battles and riddles, lies and secrets, from debut author Megan Bannon. Let's see what this looks like. It's black with this gold font. And... <laughs> I don't know if y'all do this, but if I get a book that has like really hard to pronounce names in it, I totally make up names or pronunciations in my head. And that's what I say the entire time in my head as I'm reading it. 
Unless, of course, I listen to the audiobook and then I can see how it's actually supposed to be said. But this seems like a book where I may have to do that because I'm pretty sure I did not pronounce any of those names right. <laughs> but I did the best I could. Oh, some of the pages are folded in here. That doesn't usually happen. So this actually has a little bit of a a glossary in it with a uh, looks like some Mandarin Chinese words and some Mongolian words. Very interesting. It sounds like a cool story though. And in their little pamphlet here, like I said, it has read along dates. It also has a save the date where they do like an author meet and greet um, on Instagram. And then they have a an Instagram live chat with the read along dates and a Facebook live chat as well. And then different discussion dates, quest going over questions that they have. I think that'll be a fun book to read. So I did get a little bit of reading done today. I'm currently on page 320 of City of Lost Souls. I still have a lot left. <laughs> I haven't really done a whole lot of stuff that I should have done over these past few days. So I'm kind of getting backed up on editing and stuff that I need to do. So yeah, I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done tomorrow. Just because I have a video that I need to get edited either tonight or tomorrow or both. Because it's supposed to post on Sunday. So I've got to get it ready to, so it'll go up on time. Because it's a book haul and I know y'all like those book hauls. <laughs> also tomorrow is date night. So Marty and I are going to a, a comedy show which will be fun. And I can't really vlog that because they don't really appreciate re-recording them. <laughs> I'll vlog anything that I can. Alright, well I think I'm going to go for tonight and I will check with you tomorrow. It's date night! <laughs> so Marty and I are getting ready to go out and see a comedy show. Outfit of the day! <laughs> So we are downtown Chattanooga and we are walking to the comedy club. We just parked. So this will be fun. Are you excited? Isn't he always? <laughs> Isn't Chattanooga so freaking cute? I love this place. are here to see the comedy show. Enjoyed this show. Did you enjoy the show? Yeah. yeah. And actually, the the main guy he reminded me a lot of Marty's dad and the kind of jokes that he would tell. I enjoyed it. <laughs> All right. I guess we are headed back home now. So it's Saturday, June 23rd, and as you saw, we just had date night, and it was a lot of fun. 
and when we got home I finished editing my video that's supposed to go up tomorrow and I do plan on getting it up tomorrow it just may not go up at the time it normally goes up because I do not have the energy to wait for this to render and to make a thumbnail and upload it and all of that stuff tonight I'm so tired but I do plan on it going up tomorrow it just might be later in the morning or early afternoon we'll see but I can't stay up any longer. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning and I'm pooped because I've been up a long time. <laughs> but I did want to tell you that I got a lot of reading done today. I'm currently on page 458 of A City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. So I really, I only have this much left and I have every intention of finishing that tomorrow. And then... Marty and I continued listening to War Storm by Victoria Aveyard, and we're currently 16% through that. Don't know when we'll finish that, but that'll probably be a while. Because <laughs> we've got like, I don't know, 12 hours left on that thing or something. 11 hours maybe, I don't know. But I'm tired, and I'm going to bed, and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> So it is Sunday, June 24th, which means this is the end of another reading vlog. And I didn't really get a lot of reading done this week, but I did get some done. Uh, not nearly as much as I've been getting lately, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll have to uh, make up for that next week. I did, however, finish one book this week. I finished City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare and I gave this a five. I loved it so much and it's been so many years since I've read this that there was very little that I actually remembered in this book. Which is funny because I, I remembered more from the first book in the series than I actually remembered of this book. And oh my goodness, the epilogue. It teared me up a little bit. Also this week, Marty and I listened to a little bit more of War Storm, so we're currently at 16% of that on the audiobook. So that's really all I've read this week. Next week, I would really like to finish Buffy the Vampire Slayer, 20 Years of Slaying, The Watcher's Guide. And I would also like to read at least one of my Once Upon a Book Club books and go through the whole box. And those are always fun to do. So I actually plan on starting one of those tomorrow. So that'll be in next week's vlog. Other than that, all I've really done today is cleaning and editing. And that's it. Look, it's like flat and then curly because this is where my hat is. Now it looks ugly. <laughs> No, look like a dog. Like you know those dogs, and then they have like the big poofy ears. That's how I Dogger feel. Spaniel. That's how I feel. Yeah. Like with the dogs with the poofy. But ah, it's recording. <laughs> but cocker spaniels are like the cutest. Yeah, but not when you're a human. <laughs> <laughs> ah, human, it's recording. <laughs> a human cocker spaniel would not be cute. Like if you took a, any dog and made it into human form, like face features everything it would be gross i don't know there's those people that look like they're pets yeah like they look similar but if you take a dog and you like make it like this animal dog hybrid it'd be disgusting oh <laughs> our conversations <laughs> hey guys this is a private conversation why did you record it so it wouldn't turn off on you <laughs> okay it's fine <laughs> Hey guys, it's Melanie and Becca, and wait, this is not our video, this is your vlog. <laughs> I was into it too, I was like, hi! Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get my hair to be not flat. Okay. It's fine. I'll wash it. Wait, what's the day? <laughs> It is Tuesday the 19th. Okay. Hey guys, 
it's Melanie and Becca is here with me today and this is crap hey guys <laughs> hey guys hey guys what the crap is going on okay <laughs> okay hey guys it's <laughs> Time to start the video. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. I can't word. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, bye!